Hi friends, good morning. Please look at the next problem in Bohr's and Seams. Friends, problem is given in the description box. Friends, here a swimmer swims from a point P to say point R in upstream for 6 minutes and from R to Q another 6 minutes in the downstream. See friends, while swimming downstream, while swimming downstream, he swims 120 meters more than in upstream. So the difference, the difference between the difference between the distance traveled in downstream and in upstream is 120 meters. Friends, this is the distance traveled in upstream and this is the distance traveled in the downstream. So the distance traveled in downstream is 120 meters more than the distance traveled in upstream. So the difference between the distance traveled in downstream and upstream is equal to 120 meters. Friends say downstream velocity ds, downstream velocity ds, in downstream he traveled 6 minutes and upstream velocity say x, in upstream also he traveled 6 minutes. So this is the distance traveled in downstream in 6 minutes. This is the distance traveled in upstream in 6 minutes. The difference between these two is equal to 120 meters friends. 120 meters. Friends 6 minutes means 360 seconds. 360 into ds downstream velocity minus upstream velocity is equal to 120. So friends, downstream velocity minus upstream velocity is equal to 120 by 360, 1 by 3 meters per second, meters per second. Friends, we know the stream velocity. When downstream velocity and upstream velocity are known, then the stream velocity y is equal to ds minus us by 2. So now the stream velocity is equal to ds minus us by 2. So that is equal to 1 by 6. Friends, this is uh, meters per second, but we want uh, in kmph. So let us do into 18 by 5. Friends, 6 threes. 3 by 5 means uh, 5 6 is 30. So 0 0.6 kmph, friends. 0 0.6 kmph. This is the this is the velocity of the stream, friends. Okay, friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.